And good Friday evening. Last night was homecoming for both middle schools, and it was a great night for both at LaFayette and Jacksboro. Now, the Cougars are 2-2, two and two, and so is the WLAF Pilot Sports Network. And a major gospel music convention is coming to Pigeon Forge in a couple of years. All these stories and more are coming up next when the news continues on WLAF TV Channel 12 and 1450 WLAF Radio. And here we go. Three, two. Well, good evening and welcome to our newscast for this end of the week Friday. It is Friday, September the 15th. No, it's not. It's the 14th. <laughs> it was a beautiful evening for a host of beautiful young ladies Thursday night at the Southside Middle Schools. Jacksboro and La Follette celebrated homecoming on the same night in front of big crowds at each school. Jacksboro crowned Gracie Faulkner as its 2012 queen while Bryce Dossett is now wearing the LaFollette crown for 2012. And for the ball games, the Owls defeated Horace Maynard by a final score of 44-0. The Eagles also with a big win, defeating Norris 38-2. So congratulations to the Eagles and the Owls. And speaking of the middle schools, Jellicoe Middle School won for the third time this season, defeating Robbins last night 34-26. to Now, the Cougars are 2-2 two and two in football, and so is the WLAF Pilot Sports Network. We'll explain. Uh, after a couple of good broadcasts, after a good broadcast season last year, technically in particular, uh, we struggled the past couple of broadcasts this season carrying Campbell County High School football, and we're not very happy about it. Well, the product that we presented is just not up to par. So the past uh, week we have spent with our technical crew working all this week to improve our radio and television coverage of Campbell County High School football. Now, as part of our adjustments, we've installed new software, we've tweaked it, we've revamped all our commercials and streamlined the game format in order to bring you the best coverage we possibly can. And again, keep in mind, after all, we are pioneering here at WLAF where our website telecasts are concerned. Uh, the Campbell County Cougars are the only Knoxville area football and basketball programs that have their games broadcast live on radio, televised live over the Internet, and shown over local cable television. So uh, we're doing some, some unique things here. So uh, bear with us as we uh, work our way through these snags. Now, we do greatly appreciate your patience and your understanding with us. And we'll continue to strive to do the very best job we possibly can for you every time out. And oh, by the way, go Cougars. The uh, broadcast begins tonight with Les Martin and Brent Allen at 7 o'clock on WLAF Radio and also on 1450WLAF.com where you can see the live televised version. And of course, you can see the games tomorrow here on the TV at noon and again Sunday at 6. A major music convention is coming to Pigeon Forge in a couple of years. The Pigeon Forge Department of Tourism announced on Wednesday that the National Quartet Convention will be held at the soon-to-be open LeConte Center in 2014 and 2015. The LeConte Center at Pigeon Forge is scheduled to open in September of 2013. The National Quartet Convention represents a huge volume of room and nights and restaurant business. Now, President of the Pigeon Forge Hospitality Association, Phil Campbell, says, according to a press release, the NQA is a major event in Southern Gospel music and in 2012 is expected to attract around 40,000 people. The dates of the events are set for September 21st through 28th in 2014 and October, I changed that September 27th through October the 4th in the year 2015. Sounds like a long way off, doesn't it? Well, the cars won't be racing, but there will be food and fun on Saturday at the LaFollet Court Assisted Living Center. And you're invited. Tomorrow from 10 till 2 is when the big car show is on display at the North Massachusetts location. That's North Massachusetts Avenue. The event is free and it's open to everybody. And Campbell County has a new school. This is the second of two new schools in Campbell County. Now, on September the 11th, which is this past Tuesday, the school board members, along with the director of schools, Donnie Poston, were in Jellicoe to cut the ribbon for the new alternative school there. And the Indiana Avenue Baptist Church is having a free mobile food pantry tomorrow. That's from Saturday starting at 9 o'clock. It's the, on a first-come, first-served basis. Uh, now, officials say with Indiana Avenue Baptist Church that you must be present to receive the food, and the food will be handed out as long as it lasts tomorrow. Well, that's it for our newscast on this Friday. We invite you to stay tuned next with the Campbell County Sheriff's Department report right here on WLAF TV 12 and WLAF Radio. Let's check the Sheriff's report for the past 24 hours. There are 10 names on this report, uh, including Tammy Sue Godsey, age 44, of Old Ivy Hollow Road, La Follette. 
theft of property from $1,000 to $9,999. 31-year-old Shelley A. Keith, Summers Road, La Follette, possession of Schedule Four controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Sylvester B. Mendoza, age 32, of La Follette, is charged with aggravated assault by domestic violence and public intoxication. 45-year-old Trudy Dawn Miller of Robin Road, La Follette, is charged with DUI, driving while revoked, a traffic control device, and KPS bench warrant. I said DUI, driving under the influence, uh, again, is what that uh, represents. Uh, Holly Ann Minton, age 26, of West Walden Street in La Follette, is charged with violation of probation and a KPS bench warrant. Billy Lynn Pennington, 39, of Tanglewood Lane, Carable, for felony possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of Schedule II controlled substance. Also on today's arrest report, 25-year-old Christopher Lynn Powell of Nevada Avenue, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant, evading arrest and criminal trespassing. Johnny Sue Salyer, uh, Sailor, uh, age 32, of East Central Avenue, La Follette, for prostitution. Uh, Michael Lynn Shears, age 24, of West Walden Street, La Follette, for violation of probation. That's two charges. And last today on the list, 30-year-old Jennifer Nicole Williams of South Sunshine Circle in Morley, capious bench warrant, two charges. Now that's our news for this Friday. We invite you to stay connected as we have more coming up right here on WLAF and WLAF TV 12 News. We sing happy birthday to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, Good Friday evening, Campbell County. Jason Shockley here with you for your WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli Birthday Club. We don't have any anniversaries to announce today, so we'll move straight into our birthdays. Celebrating birthday today, we have Kayla McCarty, Mary Wilson, Kevin Ward, Brittany Lynn Hayes, Frosty Henderson, Tyler Richard Wyatt, Marcy Gibson, Jennifer Bolton, Mabel Violet, and Haley Rose celebrating birthdays today. Want to wish each and every one of you a very happy birthday. Hope that you've had a wonderful day today. Now for our winners this week, for our anniversary winners, Venice and Francis Roberts. One more time for our anniversary winner that is Venice and Francis our winner Roberts. this week is Ansel Ward. Birthday winner Ansel Ward. Alrighty, congratulations to our birthday winners and anniversary winners this week. Hope that you enjoy your two free dinners to Eastside Pizza and Deli. Want to remind everyone out there tuning in that you can call us, email us, or fax us anytime this coming week and be eligible for next Friday's drawing for two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli and get your birthday or anniversary announced right here on WLAF TV 12 and Radio 14. This has been your birthdays and anniversaries for Friday. Stay tuned. Your news continues after this.